guys welcome back to the teachers click i'm still on my tpt journey which we are in month two now two and a half month, month two and a half i guess and i've been really surprised with how well i've done in tpt i believe i'm sitting at like 265 dollars right now for two and a half months did not see that coming at the beginning at all so I've been trying to push through. Last week I had a really lazy week and I did not make anything. I didn't make notes on things I could make. I didn't edit anything. I did zero work in the TPT world. I still sold some things, so that was good. And that helped me, you know, look at what has been selling. So I'm trying to brainstorm. What can I make? What do I need to make? What's next? So then I was watching other creators on YouTube and they suggested that you sell what is selling in your store. So I went and looked, it showed on my app where you can click on the button and it'll show you the last product sold the last 30 days. And so I was looking at my sub plans, which I made one for high school and one for middle school. And it was 30 different sub plans and it sold really well. And I was so excited when I was looking at that and I was like, that wasn't really hard, that hard to make at all. I made mine in Canva. I looked at it, the ones that I have listed, and I had sold like, I believe 15 of the high school ones and like 10 of the middle school ones, something like that. And I was thinking, you know, sub plans are something we all need, that all teachers need. We're all gonna be out. And a lot of times teachers leave like just busy work for kids, just enough to try to keep them out of trouble and to do their work while the teacher's gone. We all want our kids to act good. But what I did is I would do like writing prompts and questions where it's like a mini project. So I did a topic, like the topic may be, you're starting your own business and your little brother and little sister are gonna be your business partners. Where do we go from here? So we've got like what kind of business you're going to run. It gets leads like lead questions. Um, how will you handle fighting in the family during the business time? Things like that. There's like eight questions that are supposed to be like filled in. Like it says in the instructions to make sure that you use all your time wisely and fill in all the space that you can to answer the questions. So I did that on 30 different projects for high school and middle school. And so I'm going to go back now. I'm working today. I've worked some and I'm going to finish up tomorrow. I'm going to do another set of 30 for high school and middle school. It'll be like volume two of my sub plans. And then I hope to make volume three next week. And then the week after that, maybe bundle those, those together and sell them as a set. Because that can be something that teachers use year after year. It's something that's evergreen. It's not a seasonal product. It's not something that you'll never use because it's a sub plan. We have to be absent at least a little bit. Some more than others, but you know, everybody needs sub plans at some time. It's good to have these like to print off, to put in your emergency sub file that you have in case something does happen. You never know what's gonna happen. You always need that. But that's what's selling right now. So do look back on what's selling in your shop and do that again. Why not? Why not piggyback off something you've already done? And also you can use the same format that you've used before. If it worked and people bought that format, that means they liked it. So make more of that same kind. Use that exact same worksheet. Change the words up. Change the pictures up on the worksheet. Make it interesting. But you can use the same format. That'll save you time. That way you can get things out faster. So just a little tidbit to look back over what's selling well in your shop and make more of it because you really are putting products out there that teachers need and it's making you money. So why would you not do it? So keep up the good work and I'll check with you guys later. Bye guys.